This is everything you need to know about the new Alien DLC for Dead by Daylight. I'm going to try and keep this as short and concise as possible, so if you like this sort of content, be sure to leave a like, comment, and subscribe! Getting straight into it then, we're going to go ahead and talk about Xenomorph. This is the new killer for Dead by Daylight, and the power is Hidden Pursuit. Essentially, what the power does is it allows you to, as you passively build it over time, turns the Xenomorph into a uh, runner mode special ability which gets the Xenomorph on all fours and allows you to use the M2 ability, which is the uh, tail attack, I believe. And this is a pretty brutal attack that you can hit over pallets and vaults on. You need to be quite accurate to use it, but it can come in very, very handy. There's control stations that you can find around the map, which are basically places that not only the survivors can find uh, the remote turrets on, which I'll talk about more later on, but also where these tunnels are, which is a whole new area underneath every map that the Xenomorph can go into and traverse and get to another tunnel. I believe there's seven control stations scattered across the map. It basically allows you to teleport to various areas of the map quickly and efficiently. The killer's perks are as follows. There's rapid brutality. Uh, you no longer gain bloodlust if you use this perk. However, hitting a survivor with a basic attack gives you a 5% haste speed bonus, basically, for 10 seconds. Um, I believe that's from the moment you hit them with your weapon. Uh, with your basic attack. Um, so if you're using Save the Best for Last, for example, this could be paired very, very well with that perk um, to allow you to gain a lot of speed um, after getting the hit. I think it's a good counter to made for this as well. The second perk is Alien Instinct. This perk activates when you hook a survivor. You see the aura of the furthest injured survivor for five seconds, and that survivor itself is oblivious for 20 seconds. And there's also Ultimate Weapon. When you open a locker, this perk activates for 30 seconds. Survivors entering your terror radius scream, reveal their location, and gain the blindness status effect for 30 seconds. This perk then goes on cooldown for 30 seconds once the initial perk activation timer has expired. We're now going to move on to the survivor, the new survivor. Uh, their name is Ellen Ripley. And the first perk that we're going to look at is Chemical Trap. After completing 50% progress on any generator, this perk activates. Whilst standing next to a dropped pallet, you can press the active ability button that you have to install a trap which stays active for 2 minutes, 120 seconds, and the aura of trapped pallets are revealed in yellow to all survivors. If the killer performs a break action on the trapped pallet, the trap explodes and they're slowed by 50% speed for 4 seconds. It also covers them in this kind of white mist. This perk can be used to just gain a lot more distance away from the killer, especially if you're um, trapping a god pallet or a pallet that's very, very uh, necessary to be broken by killers. The next perk is Light Footed. When you are healthy, this perk activates. Your running footsteps are completely silent. This perk goes on cooldown for 20 seconds after performing a rushed action. This is basically like Iron Will in terms of footsteps for survivors. I think this is a very powerful perk. It's going to be very useful, and as long as people don't rush Vault um, or perform any rushed actions, I feel like it would be very, very useful for survivors, especially those that are looking to be a bit more silent and sneak around the map a bit more and try not to get spotted as easily. Very, very strong perk in my opinion. The third and final perk is Lucky Star. When you hide in a locker, this perk activates. You leave no pools of blood and make no grunts of pain for 10 seconds. When you exit the locker, you see other survivors and the closest generator's aura in yellow for 10 seconds as well. The perk then goes on cooldown for 30 seconds. I think this is the weakest of the three perks. However, if you're new to the game or newer to the game and you're struggling to find other survivors or maybe find generators on certain maps, this might be a useful perk for you guys. Um, I won't personally be using it though. There is a level of counterplay that survivors can use against the Xenomorph in the form of remote flame turrets. These turrets are found at any control station around the map that survivors can pick up and place. These turrets can be placed anywhere on the map to counteract the Xenomorph. When the Xenomorph enters the radius and line of sight of a turret, the turret attacks and uses a flame to stagger the Xenomorph and forces it out of its runner mode. If a turret successfully knocks the Xenomorph out of its runner mode or fires for too long, it overheats and must be repaired by a survivor to be used again. The Xenomorph can attack these turrets to destroy them. Carrying a turret makes you also immune to detection while the killer is in the tunnel. The Xenomorph can attack these turrets to destroy them, and you'll have to go ahead and find another one from another control station to place. 
Carrying a turret makes you immune to detection while the killer is in the tunnel. However, it does give you a significantly reduced movement speed when you're carrying the turret. So make sure not to hold it for too long. The map is called Nostromo Wreckage, and it is apparently in the same realm as the Singularity map, the Devarka Deepwood, from the previous DLC that came out. And this map basically features a crashed ship on what is seemingly an otherwise open map. Um, I was expecting this map to be an indoor map, however, it seems like it's a bit of a mixture of both. I would say 60% outdoor and 40% indoor, so there's quite a lot to explore around the map. I hope this video helped summarize the new Alien DLC in Dead by Daylight for you a little bit better. If it did help out, then be sure to leave a like. Let me know what I can do to improve. And uh, don't forget to subscribe, and I'll catch you guys in the next video. See you later. Bye-bye.